York in the Catskills. In New York State, Gino Gellarmino and Jose Sanabria make up our main event, a very important junior lightweight. Gino Gellarmino knows the time has come for him to do something of major significance in his career. At times, the 29-year-old Gellarmino has displayed all the qualities necessary to be a champion, especially the punching power that few junior lightweights have. And I know you're wondering why Gil is wearing a glove on the left hand. We are introducing a new device at ringside tonight. It's called Punch Impact, and with electro sensors in the gloves of the fighters in this main event, we will measure the punching power, the impact power. Well, this, How does it work? Well, this we have to see, Sam. According to what they say, if you hit a guy with a light punch, it doesn't register too much. You hit him a little hard, it really registers. You want to hit me? So let me see. Go ahead. Hold on one second. Okay. No. All right, go ahead. Hit me. All right, try again. All right, you see it register? Yeah, and there you see it. Go one more time. One more. And <laughs> All right, that's enough. Next time you're going to hit me on the chin and knock me out? All right, so throughout the fight, we'll be measuring the punch impact. Should be very interesting. Well, they say they count the punches and measure the impact. This I want to see, Sam. I like the way you throw that jab. We're set for the main event. Let's go to ring announcer Ed Darien. Ladies and gentlemen, before I introduce the principals for this evening's main event, we have a fine young gentleman in attendance. In fact, he just completed making a movie with Robert De Niro titled Goodfellows, which will be released in October. And this fine young man also happens to be Villa Roma's favorite singer and entertainer. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, a young fellow who will lead us in the singing of our national anthem. Here he is, Mr. Tony Darrow. Tony Darrow. You all stand. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we and wave all the land of the free and the home of the brave. And the crowd ready for this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's scheduled for 10 rounds, and it's in a junior lightweight division. And is being promoted by Madison Square Garden. Oh. First in the blue corner, wearing the gold trunks with the red and gray trim. He weighed in at an even 129 pounds. This fine young man has 16 wins, four losses, two draws, with eight knockouts. The former IBF Junior Featherweight Champion and is currently ranked number one by the IBF in the Junior Featherweight Division. All the way from Moron, Venezuela. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the Villa Roma Resort Hotel and Country Club, Jose Sanabria. Sanabria. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the blue tr trunks with the white trim. He weighed in at an even 130 pounds. Pugilist has 31 wins with 22 knockouts. From Levittown, New York. Boxing fans, here is Gino Gellarino. Gellarino. Good reception for Gino Gellarino. Gellarino's got good power. What are your thoughts about Sanabria's power? San Sanabria's power, he, he has good power, Sam. He had good power as a 122-pounder. Whether he's going to have it at 130 is another question. But, again, Gellarino should have the advantage in power and strength. Sanabria, the advantage in skills. You know, Sanabria reminds me so much of Alexis Arguello facially. Scheduled for 10. Sanabria's first fight in 14 months. Quick 
left hand by Sanabria. Welcome back to ringside, Leland Hardy. These guys get it on, Sam. Uh, it's such a big crossroads fight for both men. Interesting watching the smaller fighters, Leland, <laughs> rather than the heavyweights. Well, sometimes these, these guys can punch harder than some of the heavyweights out there. Leslie Gelomino has really made his name with the, you know, uh, punching power that he has in this weight class. You know, Sam, I would think that the Gelomino would just about have to score a knockout to win this fight. And uh, Sanabria has never been stopped, so it's a pretty tough uh, task for Gino Gelomino. Win here, and he could just about almost demand to be recognized for a title shot. Because this Sanabria can fight. Gelomino with a couple of wins since that loss to Anthony English last June, including a win up here at the Villa Roma last November. Sanabria has been the man taking the lead thus far. Nice counter right hand by Gelomino. In the beginning, nailed with some pretty good punches, Sam. I like the way Sanabria is really whistling that right hand right down the pipeline on Gelomino. And Gelomino needs to keep those gloves up in front of his face a little bit more. And I like the way when Sanabria throws that right hand, he comes back with that left hook. Sanabria from Venezuela. Won the IBF Junior Featherweight Championship in May of 1988. Had three successful defenses before losing it on March 10th of 1989. And Sam Sanabria had a fight of his fights out of the country. He finally lost the championship to Venezuela in Paris. Mm -hmm. And down goes Gelomino. Struggling to get up. Trying to get his legs to him. Well, Sanabria proved he can punch it this way. Sam, I say they talk about this kid in the gym all the time. And another knockdown. That's Gelomino's the gloves touch the canvas. He's very shaky. Sam, he's got about 15 seconds he's going to have to survive to get through this round. That's the big right hand I was talking about. Sanabria whistling down the pipeline. Another knockdown will end this fight. Gelomino very shaky. He goes down. He they, goes they down. Might call they might call him a push. No, no knockdown. No, no knockdown. knockdown, says Joe Santarpia. Very shaky Gino Gelomino stumbling to his corner. Gelomino. Joe Santarpia patted Gelomino on the backside, and Gelomino stumbled across the ring. Sam, he doesn't have a leg under the... I say everybody in the New York gyms, the gym rats talk about this Sanabria all the time. They keep telling you what a talented kid he is. Left hook started it. There's that combination, oh. Sam. You're right. Punch right in there. Now, here's the punch impact. There's the red the right hand landing by Sanabria. He's the man in the blue corner. I want to alert our fans. This device, again, is an experimental procedure designed by Impact Sports Technology Limited, USA. Its use is not a confirmation by MSG Network of the accuracy Let's of this see device. If, let's see if uh, Gelomino can survive now, Sam. He's still a little shaky. Yes. And this kid's putting those... Oh, there's another right here. Beautiful Jim combination. Sam. Joe Santarpia stops the fight. He stops the fight. Sam, I don't think that Joe Gelomino would have been up there much longer anyhow. He got nailed with that good right hand. He started to shake again. It's just unfortunate it had to be stopped that way, but I don't think the result would have been anything different. This Sanabria can fight. He can really punch, Gil. I, I, you know, but if you look at the face of Gelomino, he really isn't dejected because it was stopped. He's just sad that uh, that the fight uh, ended prematurely because of the big punching power of Sanabria. Does he remind you of Alexis Aguayo? Oh, Aguayo's absolutely, Gil. With talent and looks. Another Alexis Aguayo. That would beautiful be nice. hands and beautiful straight punches. A very, very impressive performance by the former junior featherweight champion, Jose Sanabria. His people say they plan to bring him down and fight him at 126, but he finally got a fight, and he makes the most of it. Let's take a look at this stoppage. Now, there's that right hand on the chin. He's just about ready to go there, Sam. You can see he's, he's listing. At worst, 
Well, it's over. Let's put it that way. It's over for Gino Gelomino, and he's got to examine where he goes from here. For Jose Sanabria, boy, people take note. He'll be challenging. Let's get the official announcement from Ed Darian. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Joe Sanabria stops this bout at 17 seconds of the second round, and the winner by a TKO. Jose Sanabria. Sanabria. And I'm going to let's go to the applause for Gino Gino. Let's hear it. Jose Sanabria from Venezuela had not fought for the past 14 months. He'd been in the gym. His people said uh, he was being avoided. And no one would fight him. But they would pass whenever Sanabria's name came up for discussion. He finally got a fight with Gino Gelormino and makes the most of it, stopping Gelormino early in the At the Villaroma Country Club, you're watching Fight Night. And take a look at Jose Sanabria and the impact of some of his punches. They're registering in the red. Sanabria shooting the left to the body. The right follows up. And you see the punches registering. There's the right hand. There's the register of the right, the left, and you can see the high impact on the punches thrown by Jose Sanabria, the winner of this main event, and he's in the ring with Gil Clancy and Leland Hardy. Let's go to Gil. Congratulations, Campeon. Did you like to fight at 130 pounds, or would you rather fight at the featherweight limit? You do your job, he'll do his job. What, what oh, he really say? wanted to uh, come in and uh, take the fight at 126, but they ended up coming in at the higher weight of 130, but he felt good doing it. All right, now, Jose, everybody in the gym in New York, all the gym rats, they say you're one of the best fighters in New York. Why no fights in the United States? Todos los personas en los gimnasios en Nueva York dicen que tú eres el mejor peleador en los gimnasios. ¿Por qué no puede pelear en los Estados Unidos? He's saying that uh, he's been here in the, in the United States for about four months and been doing everything in the gymnasium, but the promoters just won't give him an opportunity. He's made the best of it tonight. Well, I think that Bobby Gooden certainly saw that. I think we may have a new Alexis Arguello here. Congratulations, Campeon. Hope to see you again soon. Now let's get back to Sam Rose in the ringside. Thanks, Gil, and congratulations to Jose Sanabria. An outstanding performance as he stops Gino Gelormino in the... 30-year-old Tony Thornton goes by the name of the Punching Postman. However, he hasn't delivered a knockout since October of 1988. Dave Tiberi, he's tough on the other hand. Three times in five tries, Tony Thornton returned to the ring in 1990 on Sports Channel America. 